All right, people. Three, two, Gunner, floor is yours. All right, so this is my demonstration speech. Because sadly, there's a lot of people in this world that do not know how to change your oil. Hey now, hey now. I keep those drive through five minute oil change places in business. All right, first things first, to start your oil change, you want to park your vehicle on a flat level surface. Why? So all the oil will drain to the bottom of the pan. Okay. And you won't you'll get most of the oil out of it. Second step is you get a ratchet and socket that will fit your drain plug because you do not want to round it off. I promise you it's a pain. When you say round it off. Uh, if you have too big of a socket for too small of a bolt. Or okay. Not, like strip it? Yeah, it'll strip it. Okay. You won't be able to get it off. Um, make sure you have a catch can underneath the oil when you're draining out because it'll make a big mess. I've done it. It sucks. After you're completely draining the oil, be sure to put the plug back in so when you go to add oil later, you don't just dump your fresh oil on the ground. Also, you learn that from experience. And after the, you drain your oil completely, you want to get a strap wrench to take off your oil filter. After you screw the oil filter on, add fresh oil, be sure to know the exact amount that your motor needs because if you put too much in it, it's not a good thing. What does it do? I believe you can blow seals out of it, you can blow heads. Seriously? Heads. Yeah. Now that you're finished adding oil, start your car, make sure the oil pressure is at the right place. Now you're finished changing your oil, you're good to drive the truck again. And what do you do with the used oil? We, you can my, burn it. My dad has a used oil burner. It just like it trickles your used oil onto your uh, big wood stove. Really? That's how we heat our shop. Seriously? Yeah. And it's okay? It doesn't smoke or anything like that? Or? Wow, no kidding. Used to own a okay, if you don't do that, like, you know, people that don't do that, can you take it somewhere? Where would you take it to get rid of? I honestly don't know where you can take it to get rid of, but I know like a bunch of old timers have like their own pit. They go dump it in out back on their properties. But so I don't personally do that. Probably not real good for the environment, I imagine. You don't want to get your tap water. I just do it to people. I just burn it. Gotcha. All right, that's all I got. Okay. Well done, dude.